Hi parents, soon to be parents and all guardians, welcome to Life with Little Ones channel. In our today's video, we are going to talk about Huggy Wuggy, what parents should be aware of regarding the alarming new social media trend affecting children. We are aware that young people today are susceptible to social media trends. However, parents may find it unsettling to learn that a novel game for elementary age children is being played in the newsroom with much younger children. Parents must be on the lookout for it. This is quite alarming. It is disturbing and is referred to innocently enough as the Huggy Wuggy game. Despite its seeming innocence as I mentioned, some kids may find it be really distressing. And consequently, for those who are unfamiliar with Huggy Wuggy, maybe you are asking, what is it? So, Huggy Wuggy is a character in a brand new online video game aimed for adults but which has become quite well liked among kids. It is a computer game of horror named Puppy Playtime. It is blue, although it resembles Cookie Monster somewhat, it has much larger teeth. You children may have mentioned Huggy Wuggy to you. Although he looks like a bear, he is not friendly. And law enforcement agencies have taken notice of this. And some have even posted warnings about the character. Then, how is this translating like? Is it simply frightening the kids? Or are they actually adapting some of the behaviors of this creature? Yes, it appears that the character you just witnessed goes around hugging people and singing incredibly spooky tunes into their ears in the game. Common Sense Media claims that while there is no graphic violence, it can still be a touch unsettling on playgrounds. It appears that young children are imitating this behavior by hugging each other and kind of whispering these unsettling mantras to one another. And therefore, it appears that what we observe was a squid game, like playing squid game on the playground and being huggy wuggy with youngsters which are both quite inappropriate. The obvious question is that follows is how young children in particular are exposed to this. Yeah, a portion of it comes from, you know, the typical ways older siblings are playing it, from friends who have older siblings, or, you know, from the fact that it is on YouTube or a social media app and name like Huggy Wuggy is simple enough to get past parental controls. Okay, following question. What can parents do to address this? So, while it's obviously impossible to know everything your child plays or watches, it is important to at least be aware of the apps they use, whether they are on Facebook or on YouTube. That's why, when a new segment like this shows, parents can approach their child and ask, Have you heard of this game? Or, Have you heard of Squid Games? Have you heard of Huggy Wuggy? And then, follow up with open-ended questions. How are you feeling and what are your thoughts? The most important thing is simply communication. Make sure your child is aware that they may talk to their parents if they are worried or terrified by anything they observe or about anything their peers are talking about. And I believe it is important to comprehend how that conversation should sound like. Parents must ask their kids about their thoughts. You can gain insight into your child's cognitive process and influence the conversation by asking them open-ended questions about the game and what they know about it. Be in touch with your youngsters. Finding out that your youngster is viewing video or acting out like Huggy Wuggy on the playground can be concerning. However, you can use it as a start for conversation with your kid to aid in their education. Use, I'm frightened that this game might harm you and other people because I love you, for example. 
It is important to respect other people. Tell them you are just there for them. These pictures might be frightening and disturbing. The possibility of more interactions is increased by letting them know that you understand and are always available to speak with. For sure, Hagiwagi is not the first possibly dangerous trend, and it won't be the last either, which is sad. So, talking openly and honestly with your child can help them learn how to use the playground and online environment. And that's all for our parenting tips today, my dear parents, soon-to-be parents, and all guardians, thank you for watching. I hope you like and learn something about our topic today. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to our channel. Have a nice day all with your little ones, and I hope to see you on my next video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye and see you next time.